Sup, sup, sup. Hey, there's gonna buy you can find for your and yeah, we got some more stuff we gotta talk about in terms of legacy. It is pretty much almost 3 a.m. and pretty much gonna make this short and sweet. We may not go into big discussions, but we're just gonna do, skim through these cards and maybe talk you mind little discussions about them. Uh, luckily it's the last of them for right now. So we have Gravekeeper Support. We have Shrine of Necker Valley. For the Tenuous Spell card, activate only while there is a face up Necker Valley on the field, as well as a face up Gravekeeper Monster. Neither player against special monsters except for Gravekeeper Monsters. Destroy this card if there is no Gravekeeper Monsters or Necker Valley on the field. So it's a nice way to kind of shun your opponent from special summoning monsters. But it is easy to get rid of by hitting a the Necker Valley. And basically both go away. So it's sort of like a. Like how the Malefics go away. Overall, decent card. Royal Tomb of Necker Valley. Counter Trap card. When a card of, or effect is activated, if there is a Necker Valley on the field as well as a face up Great Gear Monster, negate the activation if you do destroy it. You can only activate one Royal Tomb of Necker Valley per turn. It stays on judgment for the freaking Gravekeepers, like they needed it. Ah, these are going to be pretty fun. Every morning, here it is. It's also not too hard to get to prevent if you just get rid of the Necker Valleys. Next up, Gravekeeper's Ambusher. Dark Spellcaster, level 4, 1700 attack, 0 defense. When this card is flipped face up, you can target one card in your opponent's graveyard, banner that target. If this card is sent to the graveyard after it was flipped face up, you can target one Necker Valley card in your graveyard at the target's your hand. This card's effects cannot be negated by Necker Valley. So yeah, you thought you were safe by getting rid of that old Necker Valley, like, <laughs> that Necker Valley ain't gonna screw me no more, I misteed it! Yeah, they'll just get it back on this damn card, like, yeah, screw you, I'm going to activate it. This thing's a pretty dickish card, and this is going to be definitely a staple in Necker Valley, in my opinion. And that's the ambusher right there. Next up, we have Gravekeeper Shaman, which is her right there. Or him, I don't know. Level 6 Dark, 1500 Attack, 1500 Defense. This card gains 200 Defense for each Gravekeeper monster in your graveyard. Negate the effects of all monsters that activate in the graveyards, except for Gravekeeper monsters. So, Dark Wars are now fucked. If Necker Valley is face up on your... If it's face up, your opponent cannot activate field spell cards, and field spell cards cannot be destroyed by opponents. In a sense, it's pretty much for the fix Stardust, but a little bit more better because of the fact that your opponent cannot activate field spells. So if you're playing things like Dragoonities, or Vampires, or Dark Worlds, you're kind of shit all left on there. But in my opinion, I don't think she's really necessary considering you have Ambusher here to just get it back from the graveyard and reuse it. In a sense, for the Ambusher, you have a grand total of your Triple Commandants, Triple Necker Valley, and Triple Ambushers. You have, in a sense, nine Necker Valleys in your deck. It's kind of crazy. And apparently, they put Ambusher twice. Organization, organization. Gravekeeper's Apostle, which is this right here, this logo right there. Level 3 Dark Spellcaster Attack 1000, same with defense. When this card is destroyed by your opponent's attack, by your opponent's attack gets into the graveyard, you can special on one Gravekeeper monster except for Gravekeeper's Apostle from your deck and face down defense position. Yay, you get a free spy! I'm so happy! God, this sucks, Major Monkey Balls. Pretty much, your uh, usual target is going to be either your Recruiter or your Spy. Mainly your Spy because you can't really search Spy without Recruiter. So, in a sense, you have a search for Spy to set up more play. So, this card's most definitely going to get some play just as destruction fodder so you can get those free spies and it's time to put ambush there again for some reason now we have mobius monarch stuff and all i can say is this thing these two cards look damn epic so if mobius the mega monarch got some mega evolutions here going on water aqua level 8 2800 attack a thousand defense you can trip these on this card by tripping one Tribute Summon Monster. When this card is Tribute Summon Target, up to three spells or trap cards destroy those targets. If this card was Tribute Summoned by tripping a Water Monster, add this additional effect. Your opponent cannot activate the targeted card in response to this uh, fix activation. Can anyone see Frog Monarchs just Tribute or Treeborn and just say, Hi, destroy, 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 you can't chain them, ha ha ha, sucks to be you. That's going to be played in Frog Monarchs most definitely. So, this is definitely better than, say, Grand Morg. 
Next up, we have Will the Monarchs. Trap normal. If you have no cards in your extra deck, target one face up tribute summon a monster you control. Negate the monster effects, and also it becomes unaffected by card effects other than this card. Not the most useful effect, but the armwork is pretty damn badass, and I want one just because the armwork is just that awesome you look at. Because it's nine the times in a modern deck you have an extra deck for your rank sixes, for your rank twos, and your rank ones. Like you have cards in the extra deck, so not really useful. But cards here to say hello, how you doing? We have XYZ Override, Field Spell, which I'm guessing is this one right here. If an exceeds monster would attach an exceeds material to activate the fact its controller can banish one card from their hand face down instead of one of the exceed materials. This effect can't be used once per turn to both players' turns. Don't really see a point in this, it's kind of pathetically pointless, but if you want to run it, you can run it. Purge Raid, normal trap card. If you want to exceed monster you control during the end phase of this turn, special one number monster from your extra coup's rank. Is one lower than the tributed monsters. Not really something I got to play, but hey, you know, to each his own. To each his own. Release reverse burst. Normal trap card. Trip one utopia monster. You control it. Create all set spawn trap card. Trip one controls. Draw low, 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 low. Destroy my utopia. I would destroy your shit. Uh, <laughs> I think it's just a fun troll card. Uh, it's something, it's something I probably wouldn't use in utopia base deck, but it's still funny as hell to read. Skill Prisoner, normal trap card. Target one monster you control during this turn. Negate any effect monster effects that target that monster. You can better this card from your graveyard than target one monster you control during this turn. Negate all the effect monsters effects that target that card. This effect cannot be activated during the turn. This card is sent to the graveyard. So in a sense, it's sort of basically a rehash breakthrough skill. Break this go, my opinion, is better, but if you can't get this, it's a nice replacement. Actually, I prefer, actually no, I'd rather play Phoenix Change if you're saying that. Promise of an Adversary. Normal trap card. If you do not control mon a monster that was special summoned from the extra deck, try to one phase up monster your opponent controls that was special summoned from the extra deck. Gain control of that monster until the end phase. During the turn that you activate this card, you cannot special summon monsters. I guess you can snatch a big guy, to snatch a big guy, to snatch a big guy, to snatch a big guy. Just say it. Pretty decent card, in my opinion. It's not too bad. It's not the best thing in the world, but if you're having trouble with annoying seeds, I guess you can use this. Evenly matched. Normal spell card. Target one face up attack position effect monster on both sides of the field. The gate both monsters effects as long as it's. Both of those monsters remain in face-up attack position. They cannot be destroyed by battle and are unaffected by card effects other than this card. They also cannot attack or change their battle positions. So they're there forever in a sense. That's what I'm getting at. They're just going to sit there and look pretty and stare at each other. Basically, talk about the day and their life as a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I don't really know. Not really a card I most of the use, but of course, watch somebody break it and then we all complain about it later on. More cards! More cards! And... Dark Brachi, level 4 Earth Outside Monster, 600 attack, 100 defense. When this card is the normal summon, you can target one monster on the field, changes the face up defense position. Yay! Gain you so something Mithila. Going off of organization here, people. Uh, 500 attack, 1000 defense, level 3 Earth Plant Tuner Monster. This card cannot be used as a single material monster except for the single summon of an Earth Monster. You can target one face-up Earth monster. That monster loses one level. You only use the effect once per turn. Siren Archon, the Spirit Bird. Level 5 Water Wing Beast type monster. 20 turns attack, 1,000 defense. If you control a Water Wing Beast type monster, you can special this card from your hand. If you do, declare one level between 3 and 5. All Water Wing Beast type monsters you control become the declared level. During the turn, you activate its effect. You cannot activate monster effects except for water monsters and we have Mori no something something saw this is hard grading freaking things here apparently uh 
200 stack, 1400 defense. I can definitely tell you which that is right now. I guess I don't know. This thing, this is I forgot what it's called. Um, if this card is worth something to buy a beast monster type monster, you can target one card in the field and destroy that card. Yay! So that's all I have to really talk about right now. This is part five, and I'm done. I'm done. I'm done for right now. Hallelujah. I'm free from this madness. So anyway, your, your thoughts on this in the comment section below. I want to know what you guys think. And more news on this coming your way later on during the week. Because I ain't doing much more of this. Anyway... This is officially the end as of now. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time.